diameters of fetal skull so in this video we will discussing about the diameters of the fetal skull so basically in fetal skull we have two types of diameter we have a transverse diameter and we have a longitudinal diameter now transverse diameter transverse diameters are basically two and what uh, what are those diameters we have by temporal diameter and it is 8.2 cm the second one by prital and this is 9.5 cm now look at this skull as we have discussed that the fetal skull comprises of two transverse diameter and two lo and six longitudinal diameter in transverse diameter transverse diameter are side bias we know that this, this is our temporal bone this is and this one we know that we have a uh, we have a temporal bone li lying side bias the right and the left so the uh, region between this right and this left temporal bone this form a diameter which is known as bitemporal diameter and this is transverse it is transverse in nature and this diameter is 8.2 cm one diameter which is the bitemporal diameter this is transverse and this is 8.2 the next diameter which lie between these uh, we know that this is our these are our parietal bone Th this is our parietal eminence so the diameter which lies our, between our parietal bone this is known as by parietal diameter and this is 9.5 cm so two transverse diameter of fetal skulls are by by temporal diameter and by parietal diameter by temporal diameter is between two temporal bone and it is 8.2 cm by parietal diameter is between two parietal eminences two parietal bone and this is 9.5 cm so these two forms the transverse diameter of fetal skull now we will discuss about the longitudinal diameter these are basically six what are these diameters we have we have sub occipital pragmatic diameter and this is 9.5 cm we have sub occipital occipital frontal diameter this is 10 cm we have occipital frontal diameter this is 11.5 cm mento verticular diameter which is the largest diameter this is 13.5 cm sub mento verticular diameter this is 11.5 and sub mento pragmatic this is 9.5 so first sub occipital pragmatic 9.5 second sub occipital frontal 10 cm third occipital frontal 11.5 fourth mento verticular 13.5 fifth sub mento verticular 11.5 and sixth one sub mento pragmatic 9.5 in the beginning of this lecture we have discussed about the two transverse diameter now we will discuss we will discuss about the six longitudinal diameter and before going to the longitudinal diameter we should know some important regions of the skull we know that this is our frontal bone here lies our interior fontanel the region which lies between the interior fontanel and between these orbital ridges this region is known as our forehead it is also known as sinciput 
So first you need to remember our forehead and a sinciput which lies between interior fontanel and between these two orbital ridges. This is our forehead and sinciput. And between these two parietal bone, interior and the posterior fontanel, this region between two parietal eminences, this region, the po uh, this highest point is known as vertex. So next region that you need to remember is this vertic vertex region which lies between our interior and posterior fontanel and between two parietal eminences. This is our vertex region. And at the back of the skull, as you know that this, there lies our occipital bone. And this is our occipital protuberance. And the region below this occipital protuberance is known as suboccipital region. This is suboccipital region. The third region that we have discussed so far, first was our forehead and sensiput, second our vertex and third is our occiput and suboccipital region. Next you should know that this is our chin and this region this is known as vertex. This region, this chin, this region this is called our vertex. And this is the body of our mandible and these upper projection as we have discussed these are these were the ramus and the inferior region of these ramus inferior and posterior region of this ramus this is known as submental submentibular region so you should uh, remember this this mentum this is mentum this is submentum the forehead and sinciput the vertex and the occiput. Now the longitudinal diameter from this mentum to the highest point of the vertex this is the largest longitudinal diameter. So diameter which which lies between this vertex highest point and to and and between this chin this is the largest diameter and this is 13.5 centimeter. So diameter between the uh, mentum and the highest point of the vertex is the largest and it is 13.5 cm and the diameter between submentum and the vertex this is 11.5 cm. This is our submentum and this is highest point of the vertex and this diameter is 11.5. Mento Verticular diameter is 13.5, some mento verticular diameter is 11.5 and some mento bragmatic. This in, uh, as we have discussed earlier this frontal uh, fontanel, this interior fontanel is also known as bragma. So from submentum to this bragma this diameter is 9.5 cm. From this bragma this interior fontanel to this submentum this is called submento bragmatic diameter and this is 9.5 now let me revise this is the mentum which is also known as chin from chin to the highest point of this vertex this is called mento verticular diameter and this is 13.5 from this submentum to the highest point of vertex this is called submento verticular diameter this is 11.5 from some mentum to the bragma to the interior fontanel this is 9.5 so these were the interior longitudinal diameter now let's discuss the posterior longitudinal diameter which is from this occipital region this is the occipital bone so the diameter which lies between this occiput and the middle of this frontal bone from this point to the this point this is called occipital frontal diameter and this occipital frontal diameter is 11.5 cm from occiput to the mid of this frontal region so this is called the, our frontal point this is our occipital point occipital frontal diameter is 11.5 this is our occipital protuberance the region below this occipital protuberance is called suboccipital region from this subocciput 
to this frontal point this is called suboccipital frontal diameter and this suboccipital frontal diameter is 10 cm this is 10 cm from suboccipit to this interior fontanel to this bragma from suboccipit to the bragma this is called suboccipital bragmatic diameter this is also smallest diameter this is 9.5 9.5 cm so let me revise again the posterior longitudinal diameter first we have to consider this occipital bone from the occiput to the frontal bone the occipital frontal diameter this is 11.5 from sub occiput to the frontal this is 10 cm from sub occiput to the bragma to the interior fontanel this is 9.5 so these are our six longitudinal diameter as we have discussed the interior longitudinal diameter from the mentum to the highest point of the vertex it was the longest 13.5 then from the submentum to the highest point of the vertex which was 11.5 then submentum to the bragma this was 9.5 this was the smallest diameter of the interior side then we discussed about our posterior side in which we uh, we have discussed the occipital frontal which was 11.5 then sub occipital frontal which was 10 cm and sub occipital bragmatic which was 9.5 which was the smallest diameter of the posterior region so the fetal diameter we have two transverse diameter and six longitudinal diameters two transverse we have discussed two temporal bone between between two temporal bone which was 8.5 cm then between two parietal bone which was 9.5 cm then we have discussed the six longitudinal diameters